Hello, 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 I am back. So I'm freezing to death. So I'm going to put my robe back on. Um, I am going to get a little bloody now that I have my look done. My photos are not coming out quite like I would like. Uh, it looks fantastic in the video. Um, I feel fantastic. Um, but my photos are simply just not turning out like I like. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing wrong. I am definitely getting some different lighting. I've been talking about it, but you know, that shit is expensive. So I have got to figure this shit out because, um, I feel like mm, I'm like, yes, girl in the video and then in my photos, I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> It's, um, it's a little scary. <laughs> so, see, I feel like Hottie made Hotterson, right? Except for the fact that I just took my fit, my photos and I'm like, and all of them, <laughs> they're fucking horrible. I don't know. So now we are going to go through with some special effects. Yes. So let's do the damn thing. All right, so I can put so much of this away now. I'm gonna take this off. See, when I do my makeup like this, I feel like I need to go somewhere. And the only place that my cute ass is going right now is to bed soon, so it's a little disappointing because I really am feeling my makeup tonight. Damn it. All for Christina. She's like, do a smoky eye. I'm like, fuck you. Okay, fine. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and I'm putting all my shit away because it's all in my way. And now I'm going to, I have a mirror underneath this camera. So that way I can look dead at you guys kind of thing while this is happening. I'm gonna put my necklace right there. Okay, so latex time. We know how much I love putting this on and taking it off. It's not true. It's not. I like doing the makeup, but I honestly prefer to do the, um, the blood and stuff on other people. that don't have to shower at my house. It's a mess. It really is. Okay. Now then, let's get started. Liquid latex. You know, I love it. So I did get all of my stuff for the most part to start doing some prosthetics. So I'm really, really excited about that. I have never done what I'm doing right now. This is a first. You guys are trial and error with me. If I fuck it up, you're going to know because you're on video. In the photos, you would never know because, well, I can't say that I fucked it up, right? So no one would know. Just like if you guys try the makeup looks that are not on camera, no one's going to know. Unless you feel like sending it to me, which I would love for you to do. No, I don't know. Okay, so I'm kind of just getting all my shit out of the way right now. Because I just did my makeup twice today and did not clean up after myself, which is typical at this makeup desk. Okie doke. So, it's that time. I'm going to do um, like a, definitely a sliced throat, right? Um, so I'm thinking, obviously it does not need to be that large. So I'm going to just tear my normal toilet paper to how I want it. Now you gotta think about when you're doing this that you want it to blend so I'm going to latex it up and then we will color match. Mm. 
I really don't like things on my throat like this either, so it's kind of strange for me. So I think that we're good with that. So now I'm just gonna take my little dollar store. I buy hundreds of these at a time, just so you know. I put my latex in here. So when I do the latex, I can, especially I have little glass bowls that I got in dollar store too. Um, when you let it dry in there, it actually will come right out super easy. And I like to use things that are reusable, to be honest. I don't, I try not to do a whole lot of disposable things in my spa because one, it costs more and two, um, well, you can save the environment like that. Yes, I give a shit. How about that? Okay. So, look how fast that's drying. It dries so fast. Unless it's like caked on. So, I'm going to do the rigid side on the bottom. And I'm going to do it pretty tight on my throat, okay? Because I want that to like give the same like skin resemblance here. So now I'm going to go through and we're going to just latex the shit out of this all around the edges first. And I try to like blend as you're going because when you do the makeup on top of this, you're going to want that to be all nice and smooth, you know? So I'm really working on getting as many looks in, in the next couple weeks as I possibly can. And then obviously for Halloween and stuff, bear with me. I'm trying to do a rotation because everybody likes different things. I like it all. Um, so I'm trying to do some pretty faces. I have a fairy coming up. I have a sunflower. Like, I know I've been doing inspired looks, but I have, like, a certain one that I want to do. Um, I like different characters. I have a Cruella de Vil I want to do. Maleficent. That one's going to be a favorite. I don't know. I have so many. So, if you look real close, you can see that it's, like, starting to blend in with my skin. So, you can't even see the difference there especially whenever I put on the makeup and a little trip to um, trip a little tip is that if you can't cover it and blend it Especially if you're doing like bloody, gory stuff, put fucking blood over it. <laughs> it's like, hello. I see so many like special effects. I'm not a, I'm no professional here. Like, I'm just learning, you know. I just learned my first thing back in uh, October of last year. So I haven't even been doing this a year. But. I see so many people, like, all these photos that I look at, and I'm like, why are you not blending, though? Like, I don't know. You know, I'm a, like, blending queen, so I can't help it. But now you can see even more and more that it's, like, really 
blended to my skin. Like you, I don't want you to be able to see any fucking separation there whatsoever. And then we have to let this dry. So we really want the latex to, to be nice and um, firm for this because then we're gonna take this little bitty pair of scissors that I gotta go over here and get and we're gonna cut it and make it look like my skin is ripped open. Now I did think about because I watched these videos and they have like these little blood pouches that go behind the latex skin <laughs> and it looks like they're like slicing the throat on camera it's pretty badass so um yeah i've been thinking about doing that too just for a little fun video obviously it will be fake folks it's not i'm just slicing somebody started on camera my luck i'll end up getting fucking reported Okay, so now I'm just kind of like blending out even more. So now I'm gonna let that dry. Um, I'm gonna grab my little scissors over here that I want because they're like a super sharp pair of scissors. why I didn't think about my lash lamp over there. I, uh, but anyway, these are my little handy dandy, very handy scissors. They're super sharp. So they literally will cut through this and shouldn't have a problem. Now the problem whenever you have latex and it's like, you know, sticking to your skin is that you have to be very, very careful to get underneath it to be able to cut it like you want to. This is gonna be like more of like a clean slice across. And then I'm gonna, I'm going literally from side to side here. Um, and then we're gonna get some like colors and stuff in there and make it, give it some depth to make it look like it's an actual sliced throat. And then we'll add blood. Bloody, bloody, bloody. Okay, so I'm going to plug this in and you guys can, it's super short um, wire here for my stupid little piece of shit hair dryer that I use for special effects. You can see I have like paint from on it from events. <laughs> dislike this being on my throat you guys I have a like a phobia of <clears throat> things on my throat I should have um, thought about that and did this shit on somebody else honestly oh well it's too late no going back okay so I'm gonna use my normal um, foundation because obviously I want that to Blend, it's kind of pulling my skin right here. So, I'm gonna go ahead and, I'm really not liking this on my throat. Okay, I'm gonna blend this with the rest of my skin.
So I'm super, super stoked for next year for Halloween. Like, yeah, I'm excited this year, okay. But next year, it's, I'm, it's gonna be a whole, like, different level of crazy because I just now, I gave myself the year to, like, really, like, focus and learn, right? And then now, this year, coming up, well, first of all, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna do the very first special effects that I've ever done. And I'm gonna do that live and then show before pictures of like where I started and then now. And then, um, and then I'm, I got everything to start doing prosthetics and like I can make molds. And I really, really wanna get to like, I wanna make my mold of my face and then do a silicone version, do the makeup and then have my face like sliding off and like do this like badass makeup of my like muscle muscular face <laughs> like oh my god i'm so excited okay so this is kind of as blended as it needs to be because the rest is going to be um you know bloody and stuff so i think that's fine. Okay. Let's see how I do here. All right, I gotta take the robe off even though I'm cold. It's just not gonna work out with us. All right, so I gotta peel it up off of my skin first. Do you like the slightest little snip there? And then you can like wiggle. You need a very sharp pair of scissors for this, okay? And you can wiggle. Behind it. Don't cut your fucking throat, okay? If you are trying this at home. See my skin so far? I have learned that going this way with me and scissors, it's just not very fucking fun. It is a very challenging ordeal. Mm. Very sharp scissors. I think my Beauty and the Beast one is posted whenever I did that, you guys. I don't know what I was thinking. I did like scratches like on this side of my face. <laughs> oh my God. Trying to like cut in that direction. It was horrible, okay? I lesson learned. Okay, look, we have skin. I will have to go back and edit this video um, in my post stating that this is not a real injury. So, yeah. All right, so now I'm gonna go in 
and do some makeup. So we'll go in with black. And then I'm gonna hit, so I wanna do like the skin underneath here. Cause that's what you really have to think about is like the, you want that. And then um, that color, you know, you want that red. reds and stuff in there. I'm doing like a, I don't know what I'm doing, like bruised and beat up. So I feel like I put too much and I don't need that much um, latex here.
I think that's much better, right? Okay, so let me get my, I'll wait on that to dry. using my bruise wheel here I have to like do different layers of colors. some brown. Let's see. Let's do a lighter brown. We're going to do um, some purple in here. Definitely some more red in there.
just trim that up a bit. And I'm going to put that there. I'm only going to do the one side of my face tonight. I got beat, beat up pretty bad for that. But we are talking Jason here, so... Yeah. It's so weird because, like, everyone wants the gore stuff, but those are my least watched videos. So far. So strange. Okay, so there's that.
I'm just trying to give my face like a dirty, like I'm been fighting and dirty, you know. to get some blood out. These will be dry enough in a minute. Jesus, just knock down all my shit. Oh my God. So I got some new tools. All right, so I got this really thick blood. We're not like gushing blood, okay? I'm not not doing all that right now. So we're gonna go in side of the wound with the really thick blood.
So we're gonna go in and hit that with like black. So this kind of sponge here is actually going to give it even more of a texture with that spruce paint that I'm using. So that helps um, blend a lot better too.
So I'm using a um, Ben Nye Thick Blood for this, this blood here. Freezing to death, you guys. And then I'm gonna come back with some Scab Blood. This one's gonna be more of runny. So I actually like to use my sponge for this one. I like the other blood, but it's too bright. Sometimes and yeah, I can thicken it up, but I don't, I don't even know if I have the stuff in here to do that. So, this is where we are so far. I got my ass beat, right? Kind of fought her hard, I guess, right? I'm a victim. Um, those are my new waxing tools I got. I have lots of them.
Okay, well that did not work like I wanted it to do. Okay. I'm really just not a fan of how much this is not blended. So, I got blood in my eye. Jason's victim has gotten got. There's a little gore for you guys. They're my least watched videos, I swear. But people ask for them. Doesn't make sense to me. Okay, so... This is done. And so now it's picture time. So, well, let me tell you, part one was the glamour look. That was super pretty, uh, smoky eye. And we turned myself into um, Jason's victim. Um... Please, I would appreciate if you would all go and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the like button uh, on my videos. Check them all out. Um, please like and um, share my page. Halloween is coming. If you know friends who are looking for makeup artist, you have found her. I'm gonna take my pictures and get this off my face and take my ass to bed. So until next time, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you later, bye.